Poker Face puts a devious twist on the murder mystery concept, where most murder mysteries focus on a detective or someone adjacent as they investigate a diabolical murder plot, all before revealing who the murderer is, the murderer's motive, and how they did it, hence why the genre is known as the whodunit, Poker Face does things a little bit differently, kind of like someone who eats pizza starting with the crust, which I ain't gonna judge. No one should gatekeep pizza, unless it's from St. Louis, because in regards to that, I have filed my fourth complaint to the city as of yesterday. Yesterday. But anyway, the point. Poker Face is a terrific spin on this age-old classic genre. In fact, this Peacock show created by Ryan Johnson, yes, that Ryan Johnson, the one who directed Brick, Looper, Knives Out, and The Last Jedi, which is fucking great, by the way, and I will not hear any anti-The Last Jedi slander here, upends the concept of a murder mystery by removing the quote-unquote mystery aspect from the equation. See, Poker Face episodes generally start by following the perpetrator of a murder. Throughout each episode's introduction, we see who the murderer wants to kill, what motivates them to participate in the grisly act of a murder, and how they ultimately commit the deed. And given that, we the audience already know the answer to the supposed mystery or plot twist within the first 5-10 to 10 minutes of any given episode. It's as if M. Night Shyamalan told us the ending of The Sixth Sense within the first 5 minutes. Yet, this does not undermine Poker Face's enjoyability at all. If anything, the opposite is true, because the show's real tension does not come from solving a mystery. It comes from how these murderers get caught, how their murderous schemes get revealed. Enter Natasha Lyonne's Charlie Kale, our main protagonist. Charlie, who is a likable mess of a woman with a heart of gold, is traveling across the country and off the grid for reasons I can't divulge due to spoilers, but what I can say is that she takes up numerous jobs and meets many people along her travels, many of which either turn out to be murderers or victims of those said murderers. And this is an interesting situation for Charlie to be in, because she actually has the perfect superpower to solve crimes, and that power is that she is a human lie detector. In fact, whenever someone says an outright lie, she automatically knows that they're spouting bullshit on par with a presenter at CPAC. If anything, Charlie is the human personification of the lasso of truth, sans all the kinky bondage associated with that aforementioned lasso of truth. Because honestly, Wonder Woman can tie me up anytime she wants to. But to get back to the point, Charlie's power is very useful when it comes to solving murders. After all, being a human lie detector can be very beneficial as long as you ask the right questions. And as a result, Poker Face's narrative tension comes from how Charlie solves these mysteries and how she can obtain factual evidence that can incriminate these perpetrators. Narratively and visually speaking, it's riveting. Poker Face is also a shit ton of fun, even beyond the delightfully dark comedic tone and the likability of a chaotic protagonist who feels compelled to solve mysteries even though that action places her in mortal peril. The murders themselves are elaborate and take place in unique environments. Like throughout the show, we have potential murders at racetracks, heavy metal concerts, a stage theater, and even at a fucking retirement home. And these episodes are for the most part very good and live up to their setup, all with the exception of the second episode, which is just the least essential of the bunch and has a murder occur across the street from a subway, because obviously Subway had to use its ridiculous marketing budget to muscle its way onto a television show in order to have a fictional crime occur outside its premises. If anything, episode 2 is just the weakest entry, much like how Nathan Drake selling us Subway sandwiches was the weakest moment of the Uncharted series, even more so than the first Uncharted, and that game was janky as fuck. But still, Poker Face's setups and payoffs are overall excellent. They are fantastic, and that's even before acknowledging that many of the characters, whether murder, victim, or bystander, are often played by recognizable actors and such like Adrian Brody, Ron Perlman, Tim Blake Nelson, Nick Nolte, and etc., which is always a plus because their performances often have nuances that complement the overall narrative of a given episode and often deliver human obstacles that are lovely charming must contend with. They're all pretty great. Admittedly, Poker Face isn't the first murder mystery TV show that is more about how a protagonist catches the bad guys rather than actually solving a mystery alongside the audience. In fact, many viewers of Poker Face point out that this show is clearly inspired by Columbo, a series that reportedly has a similar structure, yet I personally have never seen Columbo, so I'm just judging Poker Face by its own merits alone. And my verdict is that Poker Face executes on this concept incredibly well. As stated before, the episodes offer engaging and unique premises and backdrops for Charlie to solve a mystery, Charlie herself is a likable character that the audience can easily attach themselves to, and the tension and the dark comedy are perfectly complementary to one another, ensuring that Poker Face is just an overall enjoyable experience. And while there might be a couple issues, i.e. episode 2 is the weakest link, and then there's the fact that there's no in-narrative justification as to why and how Charlie keeps stumbling onto murder scene after murder scene, other than the fact that her luck is complete shit, Poker Face is just an enthralling experience throughout, and is 
just a blast. The show was compelling even without an actual mystery. And with that, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like rating, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and leave me a comment telling me what you think of Poker Face. Also, please consider checking out my Patreon page. $1 a month gets you onto this credit sequence, and $5 a month allows you to make quick review and impressions requests. The link to my Patreon is in the description. And speaking of Patreon, I just want to thank my patrons, particularly my high tier ones in Samantha Devlin, Mom, and Morgan. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. Love y'all.